Greetings, friends. Welcome. Today, we're looking at one of the main reasons why I use Tailwinds. Uh, we're going to we're going to look at this uh, sample project here. So, say you're starting a new project, nice and clean, clean slate. You can do whatever you want. Um, oh, before we do that, actually, if you find yourself enjoying the video, feel free to click that subscribe below, and you'll get updates for future videos. Okay, so yeah, we've got some HTML here. We've got a header. Uh, we've got a paragraph. We want to format that. It looks it looks pretty awful over here at the moment. Um, so it needs to be bigger. It needs to have uh, the, the correct font and size. So you might you might think uh, let's put together a style sheet for this. Um, yeah, we can start clean. We can create a new one. So say for the header here, we would want to say maybe something like yeah, this is going to be a main heading. Um, you know, immediately I'm just making this stuff up on the fly. Um, so I'd have in my style sheet, I'd have main. Uh, heading and what would we want? Well, we want it to be bigger. So let's set the font size um, to be something like 4M maybe um, and set the font weight. Yeah, another another sort of random number that I might fancy, you know, say 800. Um, okay, that looked that nice. So that, looked, that looks a lot better straight off. Um, and then on the paragraph, what do we want? We want to maybe limit the width of it um, and change the font as well. So let's do um, class and we'll say, I don't know, para. We could come into our style sheet and we do para and say what? Um, max width and make it 30 characters or something. Okay, so that then limits it, maybe a little bit bigger. Another. Another magical number here that I'm throwing in, 40 chars. Um, yeah. All right. And, and we might want to center it as well. So let's do um, a class here and say center. And then we'd again add another, add another class here, center. And let's do it with flex maybe. Um, so we can do something like this I think and give it um like that and there you go that centers it off um and so that you know that's great well I say that's great it's not great <laughs> um this file down here is gonna get huge the every other page we add we're gonna have different um slightly different headings with a different size, a different font, similar for the paragraphs. Everything's going to, it's going to, you know, you're going to come in and go, oh, can I reuse this one? Or, well, maybe I'll have um, a main heading, super bold, you know, something like that. Um, and it's going to be like exactly the same, except that we'll have, um, you know, just an, an extra bit of the bold on there. So, and and so this file is going to get very hard to maintain. You're you're basically I'm I'm basically creating my own design system in here. I've got I've got magical numbers that I've made up. Um, you know how are they all going to interact with each other throughout the site in terms of consistency? It's going to be very hard to maintain going forward. It's all great at the start. Um, you and you've got. You know, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna look after it and keep it keep it uh, maintained. Um, but yeah, it's it, it's tricky. So what would be great is to just get a just do away with that file, and that's what Tailwind does. It, it lets us completely forget about that file. We would we would close that off. Um, I would I would take it out from here, and I would replace it with my Tailwind um, CSS. So we would go back to here now, rather than using these magical classes that I've just made up, we would use the utility classes from Tailwind, which are, are designed to work well with each other. You know, there's been some thought into how all the classes interact and what values um, go well with other values. You know, there's no magical numbers in there. Well, they're, they're, they've been set, but, you know, they're, they're not just uh, arbitrarily uh, thought up. They all interact well with each other in a part of the design system so so for the div here we would use um the tailwind flex and we would say flex call and um items center 
Uh, and if I save that one off, you can see that's moved it over there for us. So we've got the centering there. Um, and then on my class here, I would I wanted it to be bigger. So I could say text, uh, say 4XL. And if we refresh that, so that makes it bigger there. And we could also say text extra bold. And save that one off. And I'm not totally sure if that is the correct naming for that. It seems to take effect. But so one thing you need to do is learn the Tailwind Utility classes. Um, they're pretty they're pretty easy to, to, to learn. Um, so I wouldn't see it as a major impediment to, to, um, to go with Tailwind. And then on the paragraph, we could do a, a max here as well. So we could do... and. And this is where you can really see a kind of difference. Um, you know, I did max with 30 chars and then it wasn't quite right. And then 40 chars with Tailwind. Again, it's going to give you um, some nice defaults in there. So we can say max pros. And if I refresh that. Uh, I think it's max width pros. Yeah, and so that gives you um, the inbuilt width that um, Tailwind is is using by default. So you don't have to come up with any magical number there again. That may you know you may forget and use a different one in another part of the system. So you can you get you get this consistently consistency provided for you. Um, you know, all these classes are then created um, by Tailwind for us. So right, you know, but rather than us creating that main header and that paragraph. These are all being created for us. So if I go into the output for Tailwind here, you can see it's put in the text 4L and the text 6L um, and, and our item center. So we're, we're still essentially creating these classes, um, but at a, at a lower level as well. So rather than having the flex in here and the flex column, each class is a very specific um, uh, formatting a very specific piece of CSS, and we combine them um, to build up to build up this here. So it's it's more verbose, um, but it does give you uh, an awful lot uh, less headaches of maintaining. You've no longer got to maintain that CSS file with all your made up CSS names in there. Uh, one other thing to note here in terms of you know, is this the same as coming in and doing style? Um, you know, I, would I be? Is it? What's the difference between adding those tailwind classes and coming in here and saying, you know, display flex uh, and adding it all as styles? You know, it is similar to that, but again, there's there's no magic numbers. With if we were doing this, we're not basing it on a design system, and so it's going to be incredibly hard to maintain and know what you can and cannot use to keep things consistent. Um, so adding it in as Tailwind classes is quite different to just adding in a whole load of styles, even though we're using that low level sort of mechanism there. Um, so there you go. That is main reason I want to use Tailwind. I no longer need to maintain my own CSS file with all these crazy names included in it um all right there you go hope that was interesting uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if not uh don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time bye